Ladies and gentlemen, the big moment is here now. May I invite all the competitors, all the finalists on the stage, please. Paula de Musica, Camarata Bafiensis, seldom seen, and never mind. We had a lovely morning and afternoon with wonderful music, but now we have to do business. So I want to ask the jury and the jury of the press on the stage, please. You've been working very, very hard. And I should like also to uh, ask Aaron van Wassenaar on the stage, and Jörg Boysen and Xavier van Damme to present other prizes. And <laughs> First of all, I'd like to give the microphone to Rob Overman, the chairman of the press jury. Good afternoon. Do you allow me to not show my back to the musicians where it's all about? Um, my name is Rob Overman and I'm standing here on behalf of my colleagues Tim Moon and Marilijn Kerkhoff. Um, we are extremely proud that uh, the competition has been showing this wonderful group of musicians what a, a, a huge level in your ensemble playing. And that's all the first applause for you now. <laughs> but we were not only here to, uh, to judge your musical abilities because we have Krein Koetsveld and a lot of very interesting people who are judging that. We are the press jury. So we should be a little bit modest about our role in this. What we've been looking at is most of all presentation, communication, um, what are your media opportunities, what are your opportunities for radio, for television, what you're already doing on Facebook and on YouTube, and you're doing a lot, all of you, that's interesting. So um, we have a result, uh, but of course it was not easy because of the high level of all the ensembles. So, uh, we were not really on one line, so we had tough fights in our room, but we are very happy to announce who the winner is. But we would also like to say something about the number two, because it was a close finish. The number two, so you're not the winner, I'm so sorry, is Nevermind. And we choose for Nevermind, we chose for, uh, for Nevermind, because you're a great ensemble of four soloists and you're willing to take enormous risks in your playing. You have a lot of fun in your playing, and really um, it's, it's all about joy in music making. But you also have charisma. The Soir de Vivre, you are really a media ensemble, so we believe that if we would only have to look at what are your opportunities for media and to attract new audiences, that never mind, might have won. But there was one ensemble that, um, yeah, that was chosen by us. And what about them? Also a lot of fun in their playing, very high level, 
a beautiful sound of the ensemble and also willing to take risks on stage. Authentic, not as an early music group, but as persons, a very authentic group and as an ensemble. Um, we believe that our number one would, uh, might profit from a bit of coaching in the way they are dressed, in the way they are standing on stage, because then they have even more opportunities in media. Um, but the way they use the stage is quite special. They use the whole stage, there's a lot of variety, also in their program. Um, we believe that this ensemble was there to play a wonderful program and concert for you, for the audience. So it was all about communication. And therefore we are proud to give our press prize to Seldom Seen. Rob Overman. And now I give the microphone to Arend van Wassenaar for the Otto van Wassenaar Publieks Prize. It's interesting to award a prize uh, which did not have any discussions. But there were some discussions uh, in the bar later on. Who do we give, whom did you vote for? What was it? But apparently the ensemble which won has been able to steal the hearts and minds, steal the hearts and minds of the audience. And funny enough, it is exactly the same ensemble which also won the press prize. So <laughs> I'm very proud to announce that the Otto van Wassenaar Publiek Prize is going to seldom seen. Thank you, Arend van Wassenaar. And now I should like to invite Jörn Boysen, artistic leader van Musica da Camera, for the prize of the concert tour of Musica da Camera. Goedemiddag. Um, ik ga u niet vervelen met uh, een speech over hoe, hoe moeilijk het was. Uh, the afgelopen dagen, want dat, ik, ik sluit me daarmee aan. Oh, and probably in English, I'm not going to annoy you with the speech about how difficult it was to choose. I, I'm here to give one prize, um, a concert in our concert series in The Hague. Um, and um, I agree, it would have been very difficult to decide, a very high level of playing, a lot of beautiful and enthusiastic music making. But finally, I had to decide, and our prize is going to be a concert in The Hague, and we would invite Camerata um, Bachiensis to play. <laughs> to play a concert in our next season. And now, the prize of the concert tour of the Festival Oude Muziek, Xavier van Damme. Thank you. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who is involved in this competition, the jury members, the board, etc., etc. This is the first time we do this together. This is the first time that this uh, competition is part of the festival here in Utrecht. And I think it was a fantastic success. I'm, anyway, I'm extremely, extremely happy. So thank you all, also the audience. Um, the prize that we give is, is a bit different, of course, than the prize that the official jury uh, will give. Um, I really try to look at things from my perspective as a concert organizer um, in order to, to look for a group that fits with what we do and uh, with which we can organize a tour for with four, five, six, who knows, concerts in Holland, in the Netherlands, and in uh, Belgium. Um, 
I had the privilege to assist, um, to attend the discussions of the official jury. I was very surprised. I can't really tell any details, of course, but um, I was very, very surprised because all these people are musicians that we invited here in Utrecht because we, we are so profoundly in love with them. But I was surprised that they were all so different and express themselves in such a different way, and that actually made me really, really happy because that is what we want to do in Utrecht, just present biodiversity, and that is what we have on stage here with the next generation as well. I think, I do think there's a future for early music, especially with the group I chose, or we chose. Et là, je vais passer au français, parce qu'il s'agit d'un groupe français, dont j'ai beaucoup, beaucoup apprécié la cohésion, la voix commune. Il s'agit de quatre solistes, euh, dont un que j'ai entendu hier en récital à la chapelle protestante, ici, qui m'a foudroyé. Euh, je suis très, très impressionné. Euh, ils ont un nom anglais. Never mind. Thank you, Xavier van Damme. Well, another big moment, a very big moment. Krijn Koetsveld, chairman of the official jury. So, ladies and gentlemen, dear musicians, it's uh, for many reasons a pleasure for me to be here. First of all, because we are here uh, in the Festival for All Music, and already Xavier mentioned it already, or emphasized it, working together is fantastic. We tried, I must admit, we tried already, I think something like 20 years ago, if it would be useful that we should be part of the festival, or the festival be part of us. We didn't manage, I don't tell you the reasons, but we did not manage, but four, five, six years ago, how long ago? Five. Five years ago, uh, we invited Xavier to be part of the jury, and then we talked, well, why not uh, cooperating a bit more? Why not a bit more? Why not doing it the same moment in the same city, Utrecht? And so, here we are. I'm very happy, and thank you very much, Xavier. Yeah. I, I agree, I agree. Good. And second reason to be happy to be here is to be uh, eyewitness of so many talented young people. And I must tell you, poor ensembles. If you would have joined the 1992 competition, you all would have been the first prize winner. So we had to choose. And uh, the, the, we gave numbers, uh, I explained you something how we work. We give all numbers and we say 80, 80 points is the level, so that's a professional ensemble, ready for the professional podium. And in the past, again the past, I'm already an old man, so I'm talking about the past. Uh, in the past, there were uh, uh, competitions where we decided not to give the first prize, because we thought the ensembles not to be ready for the professional podium. And all these four ensembles are ready for the professional podium. And that's fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, but we had to decide. I will tell you a little later. Don't worry. Uh, so you see that, that, that uh, the whole old music scene, I would like to find another word instead of old music scene. But anyway, you see that the evaluation is fantastic. The level is getting higher. They're all professionalists. It's not like, let's say, 50 years ago where we tried. I remember me the, the, uh, at the Hague Conservatory. We were already happy that we could play these strange notes. And we looked at each other and we smiled and we played out of tune, but who cared? But now we care. 
We care about intonation. We know about a lot of things, a lot of details. We know what rhetorica means. We know that we have to express ourselves one way or the other. Of course, with, within the limits given by history and given by study and given by everything we know. So it is a big challenge. And nevertheless, you, we, play this for uh, an audience in the 21st century, and that's difficult. That's difficult because we know that there was a 20th century, that there was a 19th century, etc. And then still we, we stare at the notes of 1612 or 1740. And they have to make up their mind. And of course, as a jury, we, 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 we are discussing and we are watching and we are listening how they manage. Is, are the limits, let's say, respected? But is it creative as well? Do they know what it means, uh, rhetorica, and how do they, uh, they translate that on, a, on, a, on, a, uh, on stage? Impressive, again. But somebody has to win. Or, uh, although somebody said uh, participating is more important than winning. I, I personally don't believe that. Because if you are in the final, you want to win, don't you? They don't react. <laughs> okay. But I know that they want to win. Uh, but uh, let's go to the order of the jury. The fourth ensemble is an ensemble, uh, by the way, their points were an average of nearly 80. An ensemble which has a lot of energy inside. They have some very fantastic soloists. Uh, they chose even a piece which is not known at all, which is good as well, so they are going to find where do we have, can we find other music than already the, no, the well-known composers. That's a good idea to go on and find what treasures are still hidden. Uh, and I'm sure that with good coaching and being very, uh, let's say, motivating towards each other and stimulating to continue, I am 100% sure these people have a brilliant future in front of themselves. So, Camerata Bachiensis is the fourth for the jury. Next ensemble, exactly 80 points as an average. Uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was tough. Let's say the discussion in the jury was tough because uh, rhetorica, and is it French, is it German? And when you are German, how do you pronounce French? And when you're French, how do you pronounce German? That's interesting, isn't it? Because there is a lot of difference uh, between Germany and France still. But in these days it was as well. I mean, the way uh, the composers were uh, uh, grown up in rhetorica, for instance. And when you are not from that country, then it's always difficult to really to find the, 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 the exact character of this music. Nevertheless, people do, and they, they did a great job, because 80 points is very high. They should have won in 1996 as well. But not today, because the level is getting higher and higher. That's good for us. And I hope it continue like, continues like this. So, uh, the third prize winner is Nevermind. Yeah, four, five, or six people together, and then creating an ensemble, which means uh, somebody has a character like this and another one like that. So you have to stimulate each other. You have to, when somebody is the soloist at that moment, you have to give him the space. Maybe there are people who can support the soloist. Then the soloist is ready, and then somebody else uh, 
uh, is in the first row, let's say. And that's so fantastic in, 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 in ensemble playing because it's the challenge of life. How much space do you need and how much space do you give? And how do, we, how do you find it out when you are with an ensemble, when you are with four or five or six people? I'm talking now about the second prize winner. Four or five or six people. <laughs> Maybe seven every now and then. Who knows? Very fantastic ensemble playing. Very touching. Very good in individual players. Maybe every now and then the Stilo Fantastico a bit more Italian, a bit more lively, but it's a detail. It's a detail because the jury was uh, so, so happy with, uh, with everything they did, everything they played and uh, how they, uh, they, they were here together on the podium. Uh, they were, maybe, that was surprising. We were thinking, are they today a bit more nervous? Because in the semi-final, they were maybe a bit better. Can happen, eh? It's part of professional life. Nevertheless, it was today. Congratulations, Palade Musica. So five players with 80 flutes, which means 15, 16 flutes per person. That's a lot. Fantastic, fantastic. The, the, uh, the, it was nearly the maximum. The maximum is 100 points, and we gave them 97 points. Personally, I would like to give you the all-time first prize because it has never been so high. And the, uh, it was, uh, I, I told already something about the jury debate. It was funny that, we, uh, of course, you have to say as a chairman of the jury, it was very difficult and it was very close and this and that. Nevertheless, in five minutes, we agreed. And then we had, of course, a discussion. And in this discussion, we did not agree at all. Not about the order, but about what should you emphasize? Where should, should you work on with this ensemble? What was maybe to work on still? By the way, uh, uh, dear musicians, after this official thing, we are going to talk with each other and tell you, of course, more details about this, because that's between us, let's say. <laughs> but I, I will tell you later, if, within a week or so. Uh, anyway, so, uh, uh, and somebody told it already, uh, the way uh, behaving on the podium, the, the concentration, the fantastic concentration, the little movements. So uh, everything was, was, was helpful to create an atmosphere of concentration, of beautiful music, the intonation. But even on instrument where you should not play Bach in this way, <laughs> nevertheless being able to do it anyway. By the way, that's an evaluation as well. I am sure that in 1986, when the same thing would have happened, the jury would have told you, you should not play that. Play music for your instrument. And now, you see, there is a different, there is a different world in old music. That's fantastic, isn't it, guys? Let's go on like this. Let's go on like this. Uh, congratulations, you're the first prize winner. Be very proud of yourself. Thank you very much, Krijn Koetsveld, and thank you, juries. There's somebody who wants to say a few words, and that's Karel Jan Regersman, chairman of the board of the Van Wassenaar Concours Stichting. Thank you, Arpeli. 
Well, it's a, it's a pleasure on one hand. On the other hand, it's a sad moment because we are coming in the end of the 17th Van Wassenaar Concours. And that's always a pity because after such, so, such nice music and enthusiastic young people, you, there's only one thing you would like and that's to continue. But you all will continue playing. Many congratulations for uh, your prizes and uh, I would like to, to wish you all the success you need for your future musical life. I would like as well to thank the jury uh, and especially in the person of um, Brian Kutzel for the marvelous job they, they did. It's always difficult because, uh, because it's always... Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you well. Uh, <laughs> exactly. It's always difficult um, uh, because you are making people very happy and you are making people as well a little bit sad sometimes, but there's one thing and that's the jury has always right. And you did a marvelous job and we thank you very much for that. Thank you. Um, And I would like to thank as well the press jury uh, because they are looking at different elements which is quite interesting and quite uh, challenging as well. They are giving another view and uh, we were very happy to have them now. It's for us the first time that we experimented with this press jury but we are very happy with the, uh, the, the way you did it and you presented the prize. Rob, thank you very much. And then, of course, Aukelin, you have such a beautiful voice. And it's, it's, it's always a pleasure that you are prepared to, um, to do this whole presentation and all this background information you have uh, put together. Thank you very, very much. It's a great presentation. <laughs> and then the organization for early music. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, as Xavier told you already, it's the first time that we are here embedded in the early music uh, festival. Um, and of, of course we have to evaluate that all, but our first reaction is it was great, Xavier. And we thank you very much, not only you, but as well Suzanne, Juliette, Cato, for the enormous job they did. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's, it's fine that, that Martijn, who I would like to thank as well for all the knowledge he transferred to your organization, but you did a great job. We thank you very much and of course we will have contact about the future, but the first uh, signs are great. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and finally, uh, you audience, uh, thank you for uh, the way you participated uh, today. Uh, it's um, the last uh, concours was in 2011, that's three years ago. In the past it was each two years and we have to discuss uh, how we will do that in the future. But um, uh, we hope that we can continue to be embedded in the early music festival, but then probably once in the two years time or so, but you will see that in the publications. Thank you very much. Uh, for um, your contribution as well and all a very good future for you as musicians. Thank you.